Hi guys, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'm great. So to start, you guys both get to, within a show like Quantum Leap, which is very cool to kind of see in 2024, you both get to play these extremely strong and smart women that are very, like they're complete opposites of each other, but exist within the same universe. And so for you both, what has been the joy of getting to, you know, be not only a part of a show that lets two characters like that kind of coexist, but also getting to play characters like that who do have their own motivations that are so different from one another? Um, I think it's really, really cool. Like <laughs> where I think this show in particular is super em empowering for women, um, not just on screen, but off screen too. Like so many of our department heads are female and just kicking ass. And so as soon as you step on set, it's like, it's just... Uh, it, there's woman power everywhere <laughs> it's amazing yeah both both of our dps are women and then um and then pam was back who yeah who directed you twice now right she directed you yes. in secret history and obviously in the upcoming um as the world burns it's super exciting i mean it's been awesome and i also just really appreciate that where there's such a tendency right to to put, make this a love triangle, make this like, right. oh, like Addison or Hannah or whatever that there's hashtags. Um, <laughs> but, but instead of doing that being like, I love one of my favorite scenes we ever shot in this show was the Egypt scene where Hannah asks, oh, is that Addison? And for the first time we're in a scene together and sure, we're, there's some things and we're figuring that out in that moment. Um, but then we start to build this weird relationship, not weird, but cool relationship where the writers and the actors, if we want to give ourselves any credit for it, could have really leaned <laughs> into the, the like, I don't know, I, I don't want to use cattiness, but like for lack of yeah. a better, mm -hmm. that, um, yeah. and it wasn't that. It was like this respectful appreciation of differences and kind of mature way of looking at this entire situation, which was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, Eliza, you do get to have like the, everyone was like, well, wait, I like this character. I wanted to go back. And then having the news that like, oh, she is, even though she was part of a very specific time period has been, you know, talked about by fans. And it's, that's kind of the joy of Quantum Leap is you're like, well, how are we going to see this person again somewhere down the line? Because he's leaping into bodies. So for you to like get to kind of be for the audience, like our guide into like, oh, here's how these characters can come back. What has been the most exciting part for you as an actress to get to play that kind of role in a show like Quantum Leap? Oh, I mean, there's so many parts I love, but um, I mean, I think for me, I, ever since I started working in the industry, I said I wanted to do something set in the 50s or 60s or 70s. And now in one show, <laughs> I've gotten to do all three. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's it's been like my little, my inner child is singing. Like she just is so happy that I get to do this. And I think for me, that's been my favorite part, but also developing a character who you see from, you know, in her uh, early twenties to, um, well, I can't say how old we see her next time, but, <laughs> you know, um, it's, you get to see her at really important moments in her life and you see her development and kind of figuring out, okay, well, um, we're 10 years on from the last time we've seen her. Do I pitch her voice down? Do I, you know, um, does she move differently? What's she been through in these 10 years? And that as an actor has been really, really challenging and fun. Yeah. 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 Caitlin, I do love, I, the last time I talked to you was with the episode where Caitlin's like, not Caitlin, you're Caitlin, where Addison gets to see her dad again. And the, nice. the like diving into like her past trauma and her relationship with her family, moving on into this, but I do like what you said about it, not it being a love triangle, but not playing into the those tropes. Addison is in such like a situation that we have not seen her in before. What for you is the most exciting part of like getting to play these different layers of her outside of, you know, what we've already kind of seen with her relationships and how she kind of functions in them? Yeah, I mean, I think 
my favorite part about this is that I haven't been able to plan it very much. Like when you're talking about things, when you're building a father character, mm -hmm. right? You, you start to cherry pick things out of your own past and things out of things that you've heard and how it would feel. But I don't know anyone who has been in a relationship and then the person disappeared, then they came back and they're in a new relationship, but that person's dating somebody in different time periods. Like it's, that doesn't exist. Right. So, uh, so just to let myself be surprised and trust the relationships that, that, you know, Ben and Addison built between Ray and myself, and then what Peter and I tried to do with Tom and then kind of just live in those moments mm -hmm. and try and let it surprise me. Cause you just can't, you can't plan that. Like there's not, there's just no reference point. So I think that's been my favorite part. I just had to be like, let's see what this might feel like in this moment. And I do too. I, for my last question, it's going to take a minute. So I'm starting my last question now. Yeah. I always want to ask this because like, I remember growing up and quantum leap was just always on a TV during like the summer. And so we would just like sit at a beach and watch just episodes of quantum leap. And it is such like, you know, ingrained in kind of nerd culture and like how we interact with nerdy things. Were you both, what, did you have any kind of relationship like that with the first show before joining the new version of Quantum Leap? And like, what, is there any kind of character or storyline from that original show you guys hope eventually ends up in season three or whatever with this version of Quantum Leap? Um, I can start that one. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Eliza was like, you could see it. You could see her go, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you go ahead. <laughs> um, uh, so I was just a little under the old show, right? So mm -hmm. I've had to go back and watch it, which has been a really interesting experience because I can't watch it without myself being self-conscious because every time, I, I know, it's so egotistical. I wish I was like, evolved enough to not have that answer but I do like because the whole time I'm looking at it I'm like I am never going to be able to do it like Dean Stockwell I am never like so I've had to really kind of um be careful with how much of that show I feel like once quantum ends I'm going to be able to watch the whole thing top to bottom and then be like okay I'm okay um but there are so many things that they built in right like I mean, we've already brought back Al's wife and we've already added the daughter, which is amazing. Obviously, I'd love to bring back some some connections with Sam, either his wife or Sam himself. Like there's so many things that we'd love to incorporate that we just kind of have to see how mm -hmm. time does that. Um, but, you know, it's still quantum leap, right? Like it's still, we still get to be in these situations and it's just a little bit different. So so not necessarily specific storylines. Um, obviously, that's not entirely in our control, but uh, I hope to be able to go enjoy that in a way that does not make me feel like I'm never going to be able to be good enough as an actor to do this job. <laughs> but however when it comes to uh uh sci-fi dumb mm -hmm. eliza here will be the queen because at one point i was like eliza i think your followers might eat me can you please help me <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it to eliza about the sci-fi work <laughs> oh gosh i mean i um i uh, uh, talking to Deborah, who uh, created the original, like has been really fascinating for me. And um, I haven't seen the um, the first Quantum Leap. Um, I don't know if it didn't make it to Australia or <laughs> I was just a little late to the party. But um, but she was telling me about the waiting room, and I thought that was really interesting. That would be a really interesting element of like when um, when uh, Ben leaps into a body that person is then placed in this waiting room and um well you've seen it you know but i i just think that uh that would be so fascinating to see like this person going hope uh hope i don't hope my body doesn't die out there you know like <laughs> what happens in this waiting room i want to know um and my fans are not going to eat you i promise Okay, thanks. Yeah. Also, though, now the quantum fans might because they want that waiting room back. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. You did, you're on their side. So that's good. Yeah. Like, you weren't like that stuff. You're, you're like, campaigning you... for the 
nailing it. Yeah. You are nailing it. Nailing it. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Oh my God. I love it. Thank you guys so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait for more people to catch up on the show, see the new episodes, and then continue loving Quantum Leap. Totally. Thank you so much for having us. Have a great one.